on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're returning subscribers always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys <clears throat> anytime you have a knock in the middle of the night it's a scary feeling it's always an eerie feeling especially with the way things are nowadays where you know we have a rise in home invasions and people just knocking on the wrong door and getting blasted or blasting you this story right here falls right in line with that. This is the story of this man right here, right? Now, they gave this guy a name, but I'm not going to name him because supposedly this guy is, I won't even explain all that. You'll see it in the news article. But um, what this guy did, and he was drunk at the time, and this is a story out of Memphis. Shout out Memphis. In fact, you know what? I got to put the hat on because, you know, I'll be, re I'll be repping Memphis. You know what I'm saying? I ain't from there, but, you know, they, they adopted me. So it is what it is. But this guy was drunk, knocked on a random stranger's door. These people didn't even know this man. And he wound up licking off shots in their house after they told him no, so to speak. It's a story you only see here on the Dynamic Reason channel. Take a look at this and we'll come back and really get on it. New at 10 surveillance video captures the moment a mother-daughter duck for cover as shots explode into their home, apparently the targets of random gun violence while inside their own midtown home. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. A bullet hit one of them in the leg. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live after police say they've made an arrest in the case. Bria, what do you know? Well, Greg Stefan was able to talk to the victims. They tell me that they told police a man they had never seen before rung their doorbell. And when they told him to leave, they say that's when he opened fire. Must see surveillance video shows what police are calling an attempted aggravated burglary. The assault happened in Midtown in late October. I'm trying to get some water for my car. The man says he wants water for his car, but the woman inside yells back, it's her car. To which the man responds, Not your car, baby. That man, have you ever seen him before? Never, never seen him. From I don't know him from a can of paint. But the gunman painted her house with bullets, finding moments for Candace Locke and her daughter who were inside their home on North Willette Street. We're laying in our bed, we're watching TV, and I see a guy walk on my porch and he's swinging a gun. And he has a ski mask on, and he has gloves on. Locke says the man rung the doorbell, and when she didn't open the door, shot up her home. Bullets piercing through the wall, hitting the washer, one grazing her chin. His eyes are really wide, like if he was doing drugs. Her 20-year-old daughter, Serenity Phillips, was shot in the leg. I had grabbed my gun out of my room, and I was just holding it there, and he let off two shots. The one blew up in her face. The second one is where I got hit, so I dropped to the ground. A month later, Memphis police say they now have the person responsible for the shooting. 42-year-old Corey Davin Clemens has been charged with attempted aggravated burglary and reckless endangerment. However, we're not showing his face because although court records show he was identified in a lineup, Locke and Phillips say that's not the man who attacked them. Is this the person who shot you? No. No, that, that is, is not. not. That's definitely not the That's gentleman that was on the other side of my door. With the chance the bad guy could still be on the loose, the two say they no longer feel safe at their home. I'm trying to leave. I, I, like, this is not a safe place at all. Guys, that's the story. And um, I got to admit, that's some scary stuff. That's scary. I mean, anybody knocking on your door at night, like I said before, is your eyebrows and your ears go up because you don't know who's there. You don't expect people at certain times of day or night. But um, it looks like it was snowing out there. So somebody in Memphis, let me know this story. Was it snowing that night? This happened. But I want to talk about a couple of things. First thing is this. Obviously, the man was drunk. Now, it ain't nothing funny about this situation, but it is uh, strange how he just knocked on somebody's door and thought their car was his car. The lady said, hey, the car's not yours. It's my car. What are you talking about? Guy let off shots. He was drunk. Fired shots. Did you see how he was firing the shots? Ain't your car, baby. Let the shots off just randomly. He hit the lady in the chin and wound up hitting the girl on the bed. 
Like, what's the what, what's the luck of that? I mean, just random sh shooting like that. He hit both people, the washer and dryer. And I mean, of course, it's going to go through the window. Man, you see the flash coming off of that, uh, off of the muzzle when he was letting that thing off? He wasn't playing. Man, some people don't need to get it together. Now, I'm going to say something real quick. Now, it's a good thing nobody was hurt. First thing is this. They pointed the guy out in the lineup, but the picture they showing ain't him. So I'm trying to figure out how that happened. How did it even happen? They gave the guy a name, but I don't know if that's the guy, so I don't want to give this guy no name. So possibly this guy might still be out there after they put the wrong face on the lineup and matched it with somebody else. The hell, I mean, mistakes happen, but then that's a big mistake. This guy could get drunk and go right back to that house and start the whole thing all over again. Now, the second thing I want to bring up. I'm ignorant. Looking at this lady right here, you know, I always have some humor in some of this stuff. You can see she's obviously down with the brown or one time she was. She had a half mixed child. I talk about the juggernaut females on here and shout out to the JFMs. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't it is all love with me. Shout out to JFMs. But this right here is a juggernaut female I've never seen before. It's a new species name. Juggernautus half and half is. If she gets shot in the leg, she will scream and beg. And the reason why I say that is because she had a gun, but she didn't fire it back. She was scared. So it's like that she had the juggernaut uh, trait in her, but she, she couldn't activate it. It's like something holding her back. Sometimes when the juggernauts is made, they have this recessed nature where they can't really tear shit up. They want to, but they can't. Like something stops them. And I think that's the case with her. So lucky, this guy was lucky because... She got the black jiffy pop on. and Y'all know what that means. She had that black jiffy pop on. That's a death sentence. They coming for war. Hard to kill like Steven Seagal. For some reason, she had a, uh, something was recessing her. She, could, she couldn't let it off. If you look at the jiffy pop, it was sewed up. You know what I'm saying? The war helmet. You seen they had the sewing, sewing stitches in the front? I think she's trying to break herself out of that. Let's pray for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But um, all jokes aside, man. Just a random act of violence against people that look like they didn't deserve. I mean, nobody deserves it. But people that were just minding their business, they said, you know, she was in the house just watching movies. I'm trying to turn the sound off. I'm sorry. Was in the house just watching movies. Here comes some shadow, shadowy figure coming across the thing. She see him on the porch. Don't know the guy. He drunk as hell trying to get water for his car. I don't know. I mean, he must have been drinking something really bad. The dream he was in a broke down car that's in somebody else's driveway. And it needs water in it because it done overheated. There's something to think about. But I mean, it's a good thing nobody was hurt. But I mean, this is one of the reasons why I tell you if she didn't have that doorbell camera, that ring doorbell camera could have been a lot worse. What if she had just opened the door thinking like it was DoorDash or something and you got this guy standing here? He shot the gun. If you go back and look, he was like, that ain't your car. Just him saying that made him just raise the gun up and just start shooting at people. What kind of world we live in, man. Luckily, these two women uh, survived. And the lady said, hey, I'm trying to move. I'm, I'm going to tell you one more thing before I get out of here. You hear this a lot now from regular citizens. I noticed it. How come lawmakers ain't noticing random everyday citizens, taxpaying law abiding citizens are saying they don't feel safe. In a country where we supposed to be free. Think about that. Just something to think about. All kind of people. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Every time I go to an ATM now, I'm like. OK, what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't even be like that. Shouldn't even be like that. Just something to think about. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.